This is the first guide of Comica Boomex Uquo. Open the box and take out the carry case. The front panel of the carry case is the accessory panel. The back panel contains the user manual, warranty card, and Boomex Uquo. There are one receiver and four transmitters. Four 3.5mm mic audio input cables can be used as external lav mics of transmitters. Four mic wind muffs for filtering wind noise. One 3.5mm TRS to TRS audio cable can be used on devices with 3.5mm audio interfaces. One 3.5mm TRS to XLR audio cable can be used on devices with XLR audio interfaces. One 3-in-1 charging cable for charging the unit. One cold shoe quick release plate for mounting the receiver on the cold shoe interface. On the transmitter, there is a power and low cut filter button. Long press to power on, the power and low cut indicator light stays on. Short press for low cut filter, the purple light keeps on. The red light of the power and low cut indicator flashes during pairing or low battery and keeps on when charging. Long press the mute button to switch between normal recording and mute. The red light of the audio status indicator stays on when in the muting. The blue light of flashes when the sound is input. The red light is on when the sound is crackled. The built-in omnidirectional condenser microphone on the top of the transmitter can be used directly, or plug in an external microphone input cable to use. The external microphone input interface is 3.5mm TRS. External mic locking buckle is used to prevent mic input cable from accidentally falling off. There is an IR sensor on the right side of the transmitter for pairing with receiver. USB-C charging port. Reset hole. If there is an abnormal issue, insert the reset pin into the reset hole to reset it. The foldable antenna on the left side of the transmitter can be unfolded 180 degrees clockwise. The back clip on the transmitter can be used for stationary transmitting. There are A, B, C, D channel working status indicators on the front of the Boomex Uqua receiver. The blue light keeps on when the corresponding group is successfully paired. The LCD screen shows the working status of the microphone and the settings menu. Below are the function buttons, power slash menu back button, long press for off and on, Short press to go back to the previous menu, function setting button, short press to enter the menu or confirm settings, menu function button, adjust the upper and lower menus, and there are two audio output ports on the top of the receiver, 3.5mm TRS or TRRS monitoring port, plug in the 3.5mm TRS or TRRS headphones to monitor. When monitoring in non-mixing mode, A and C is the left channel and B and D is the right channel. IR sensor for pairing with transmitters. There are folding antennas on both sides of the receiver which can be unfolded forward with a range of 0 to 270 degrees. There is also a reset hole hidden under the left antenna. On the bottom is a USB-C charging port. The Boom X Uquo screen displays the current output mode and receiver battery level. Mix None mode for four independent audio tracks output and mix all mode for four groups mixed into one audio track output. The four square areas below display the status of the transmitter corresponding to the four channels of ABCD, such as group, channel, signal, strength, battery status, volume, audio dynamic bar, etc. Press any button to light up the display screen. Press the set button to enter the function menu. When manually pairing, enter channel. Select the corresponding channel according to personal needs, click the set button to make the channel name display orange, adjust to the desired channel and press the set button again to confirm. Enter sync, select the corresponding channel, press the set button when it displays orange, then press the up and down buttons to adjust to yes and press the set button again to synchronize. When succeeded, it will show OK. The corresponding indicator lights up blue. 
When automatically pairing, the receiver will automatically select the most suitable channel for the current environment. Then enter sync to synchronize. In auto scan, the user can choose to scan four channels one by one or scan these simultaneously. Volume setting, you can set the output volume of each channel separately. There are 16 levels from 0 to 15. Output mode, non-mixing mode is for four independent audio tracks output. All stands for mixing all, for four groups mixed into one audio track output. Power setting. You can set which channels are turned on and close the unused channels, increasing the working hour of the receiver. Language setting. You can switch the receiver menu in Chinese and English. Choose internal and external mic according to personal needs. When the external microphone is working, the internal microphone will be automatically turned off. Rotate the antenna to 180 degrees for the best signal. Hold the edge of the clip on the back of the receiver and slide it down into the cold shoe quick release plate. You'll know it's installed when you hear a click. When removing the cold shoe quick release plate, press the push button and push it upwards. Install the receiver to a camera cold shoe or a tripod, etc. Tighten the lock plate and unfold the receiver antenna. Depending on the selected mixing mode, connect the corresponding output jacks to the recording device. Pl Plug in your monitor headphones and you are ready to shoot. Use the included 3-in-1 charging cable to connect the device to the power bank or charging devices. Charging while using, it is recommended to use a DC power supply device such as a power bank. After use, store the device in the carry case. Thanks for watching.